There's a, to, at this point you need to understand the war that we're in. Every one of us is at war. Inside of my conscience, inside of your conscience, there's a constant influx, a constant waswasa from who? The devil doesn't stop. Front, back, right, left, I'll keep coming at them, I'll keep coming at them, I'll keep coming at them. The devil is never going to stop for any of you until you die. He, he will not stop. The only thing that can keep you from the devil's plan is what? If someone close to you tells you what? Allah's word and you just back off. Or if you have the courage to say it to yourself. Allah's word. Sometimes you say Allah's word, you say, can you not think about that right now? I just wanna, I just wanna... I mean, it's Thursday, can I think about that on Friday? Right? The thing is, there are two kinds of words that are trying to fight for space in here. One of them, whether you try or not, is getting in there anyway. Which one? The devil's words. The devil's whisper is constant, it's happening, it's happening, it's happening. Allah's words are not automatically here. Allah's words, you have to make an effort to remind yourself. Allah's words, you have to make an effort of someone reminding you and you reminding them. وَتَوَاصَوْ بِالْحَقِّ وَتَوَاصَوْ بِالصَّبْرِ They counsel each other to the truth. They tell each other the truth. They advise each other with the truth. That, and that by the way, you can think of it as the devil's words are darkness. And Allah's words are what? Light. And when you don't take in light, the darkness keeps on. Increasing. You're not evil. You're not doing anything bad. But the fact that you're not letting light in, darkness is increasing on its own without any effort. It's happening anyway. There's no such thing as you not being bad. You can, you can only get worse or better. And we're, the, the, the default is, in the insana la fi khusr. Human beings are in loss. They're constantly being whispered to by the devil. And then Allah's words are the only anecdote that cleans that up. So he was able to deceive them away from Allah's words. Allah's words to us are what? The Qur'an. The Qur'an is supposed to be a conversation with our hearts. That's what it's supposed to be. Because the devil, you was be Sufi, sudur in nas. He's here, just whispering into the chest, constantly putting feelings in, constantly putting thoughts in, and convincing you, I'm looking out for you man, you have these feelings because you're looking out for yourself. This is for your own good. That's the lie he tells you and me. That's the lie he tells. And then the Qur'an comes and he cleans that up. Allah's word cleans that up. And then you're able to walk away from that tree. Whatever that tree is for you. And whatever that tree is for me. We're able to take steps back. By the way, when you take a step back from that tree, sometimes if Adam is taking a step back, Hawa will be like, Oh, you think you're better than me? That's why, huh? Really? Yeah. Oh, no, 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 let's all follow Adam. Or if I was taking a step back, oh seriously? Now you want to take a step back? Who brought us here? Whose idea was it? Hmm? In other words, when you're trying to take a step back towards the right direction, it won't just be the devil that will be upset. It might also be the people that are still not strong enough to break free from the devil. They're not devils. Don't look at them right now. <laughs> They're not devils. But they're still struggling to break free. And those people, you don't say to them, still following shaitan, huh? I'm walking away. No, no, no. You're supposed to be able to lovingly say, listen, we're going to do this together. Because right now you're slipping, and I'm awake, but I'm pretty sure at some point, what's going to happen to me? I'll fall asleep, and you'll be the one awake. And my survival depends not just on me walking away, but also making sure you, you wake up for now. Because eventually I'll get tired and I'll fall asleep. And I'll slip into the devil's trap. You understand? That's what's happening in this remarkable story. He got them by way of deception. And finally when they tasted from this tree, Allah says, Alam an hakuma an tilkuma and actually even before then, but that As soon as they tasted from the tree, their clo their their clothes were removed. They were in they were completely nude. And they started desperately covering themselves with leaves of heaven. Allah never taught them to cover themselves. Allah put in the nature of a human being to want to cover themselves. Allah put human beings find it undignified, shameful, 
humiliating that they're not covered. Allah put that in our nature to want to be covered, to find honor in that. The devil wants us to forget that. And the devil wants you to think you are more respectable in the eyes of people if you have a more beautiful body. And if you have a beautiful body, show it to people. Show it, why, why not? You know, put it on display. Show people how beautiful you are. Show people how good looking you are. Show them more and more skin. That's what the world operates on, doesn't it? That's what it's become, isn't it? And that's exactly what the devil wanted for us. Because, you know who has no hesitation showing skin? The animal. And remember when this conversation began? He's nothing more than what? He's nothing more than mud. I made a fire, he's made of mud. Go ahead, put your mud on display. Put your mud on display, that's what I want for you. Because the more you put that on display, the more you'll crush your soul. The more the light inside you is gonna start disappearing. That's us going near that tree. When they went near that tree, they, must, they made a mistake, both of them. And they immediately started doing what? Covering themselves from the leaves of Jannah. طَفِقَ يَخْصِفَانِ عَلَيْهِمَا مِنْ وَرَقِ الْجَنَّةِ وَنَادَاهُمَا رَبُّهُمَا Then Allah Ta'ala called them. Allah could have called them when they were taking a step towards the tree. Allah could have stopped them then. Allah didn't stop them. Allah could have stopped them when they, were, when they touched the fruit. He didn't stop them. After they tasted from the tree, then Allah says, Didn't I tell you not to? أَلَمْ أَنْهَكُمَا عَنْ تِلْكُمَا الشَّجَرَةَ وَأَقُلْ لَكُمَا Didn't I tell both of you? إِنَّ الشَّيْطَانَ لَكُمَا عَدُوٌ مُبِينٌ The devil is an obvious enemy to both of you. Didn't I explain that to you? Didn't he say he's gonna come at you from all sides? Did you forget? And they're, like they're in shock that they just got caught. And they're, they're already embarrassed, you can tell, because they were covering themselves. And now Allah says, didn't I remind you? And this is actually a process that human beings will go through until judgment day. Many times we're gonna mess up, we're gonna mess up, and then we're gonna hear the word of Allah. But unlike them, where Allah spoke to them, we're gonna have to open the word of Allah ourselves. We're gonna have to open the word of Allah ourselves. And hear Allah say, didn't I tell you that's haram? Didn't I tell you you shouldn't be doing that? Didn't I tell you, wait, watch out for the devil? Didn't, didn't I tell you to watch out? And when he says that to them, what's their response? قَالَ رَبَّنَا ظَلَمْنَا أَنفُسَنَا They both said, our master, we did wrong to ourselves. How many people know this dua? Okay, say it with me. رَبَّنَا ظَلَمْنَا أَنفُسَنَا وَإِن لَمْ تَغْفِرْ لَنَا وَتَرْحَمْنَا لَنَكُونَنَّا مِنَ الْخَاسِرِينَ Okay, our master, we did wrong to ourselves. If you don't cover our mistake, and if you don't show us loving care, we're gonna absolutely be from those that have lost, lost what? Lost the trust you gave us. Lost the, you know, we've lost everything. Now when they make this dua, amazing that they are still in heaven. They're still in heaven. They made a mistake. Allah called them out on their mistake. And they apologized to Allah. The earth thing hasn't happened yet. You know what that means? Allah has given us a principle in His book. When people genuinely ask for forgiveness, Allah immediately what? Forgives. Before Adam is even sent to earth, he's already forgiven. Before our mother is even sent to earth, he's already forgiven. They made a mistake, they ate from the tree, and then they, they asked for forgiveness. Allah called them out, they asked for forgiveness, it's over. They're forgiven. Which means they're not being sent to the earth as a what? There you go. It's not a punishment. Then, so that, that part is over. Now, now. Guys, you just watched a small clip of Story Night. This is one of my favorite events around the world. At the end of every tour, I get that recorded and posted on Bayina TV. There are several Story Nights available on BayinaTV.com that you can enjoy with yourselves and family and even non-Muslim friends to give them a really nice, warm introduction to the contents of the Qur'an in a relaxed setting. So I hope you enjoy the Story Nights that are available on BayinaTV.com. Sign up today.